Hello. It's been a minute. And uh, I'm back now. I have a new camera, so I should be able to record regularly. Granted, I don't make any more excuses. Spring has arrived, thankfully. Not so thankfully, it did bring me a sinus infection. Uh, but, you know, spring sometimes is like a cat with a dead bird. You've just got to take what it brings you. Sometimes it's sinus infections, sometimes it's snowstorms, whatever it may be. I do, however, have a lot of really awesome projects on the list to make. So this time around, I'm finishing up, cleaning up my office. My husband and kiddos made me yet another bookshelf <laughs> to store more of my fabric, which is greatly appreciated. So I'm going to finish this up get the rest of it back on the bookshelves and then we are going to be making pants not just for ourselves but also for kiddos this time so little man pants which are a great first time sewing project for anybody and is a fun sew along for those who are beginning to sew no matter what the age so i will see you in just a few moments A couple of patterns that I am trying to find and um, because I am a fabric and pattern dragon I'm having a hard time finding them so the only other place that I can think to find where I put my children's patterns I think they're upstairs in my son's closet where I hide the rest of my stuff so let's go look find my pants pattern so I went on Etsy and I downloaded a pattern from the peekaboo pattern shop it's pants I know I could have made my own pattern I really don't like making my own pattern I get kind of funny about it because I feel like I'm always doing it wrong so anyway I downloaded a pattern they run from sizes three month to 12 year which is really great uh, I'm going to tape it together and we're going to give it a shot. I guess. It's day three and I have yet to make a pair of gosh darn pants. So let's get it. because peekaboo patterns gave me an outline of how everything looked really smart on their hat. Now that I have that all together, I do want to let you all know if you are going to be in and around Raleigh, North Carolina on April 7th, I'm going to be at the Geek and Grub Market at Fletcher Park in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
Geek and Crab Market is a craft show area that is for geeks, by geeks. They have some awesome cosplayers, amazing vendors like myself, and the Modern Goldfish. If you've never heard of the Modern Goldfish, check them out. The link's down below. And other wonderful geeky vendors. Definitely stop by April 7th. Every month, Geek and Grub has a different theme to their market. Last month, the month of March, well, I guess technically this month, the month of March, it was a gamer market and everything was gamer themed. The month of April, it's a fantasy themed. And I am so excited to see what Erin and her crew do for the, the fantasy themed Geek and Grub. Again, Raleigh, North Carolina, Fled Fletcher Park, April 7th. Check it out. And don't forget, next week's episode of this channel, I'm going to be making something to give away at the event. So stay tuned for that. Now, my next step for this. Uh, because I'm making pants not only for my third, but my fourth child, I have two sizes. So I'm not going to cut out the size that I want. I'm going to leave everything taped together and I'm going to trace over it with my tracing paper. Uh, I am going to draw, redraw the lines over the painter's tape. I couldn't find scotch tape for the life of me. So I just use painter's tape. Um, I'm just going to draw over those lines to make them more visible and I'm going to draw it on to my tracing paper and then cut it out. I'm going to start with my bigger size. My, they're going to be a size 7 which is actually a size 8 um, because my 7 year old is long in the legs, smaller in the waist. So I'm going to make them a size 8 make it a little bit smaller, elastic, and then he'll have plenty of room in the leg for that. traced and cut out now to make the pants but first I gotta go get my kids what what yeah cow I am yeah I'm on camera Buddy, can I record this? Aww. It is now day four, and I still haven't made any garshorn pants. Mommy! Mommy! Maybe today will be the day.
part. Now <laughs> I'm going to attach a front panel to a back panel, sew the stitches together, and hopefully, <laughs> finally, have a pair of pants. It's day five. I did get these pants done on day three and I had him try them on. I didn't hem them and they looked like high waters. <laughs> the kid has long legs and I have a hard time getting him pants that fit. Everything is short in the light. I should just name him Noah because it looks like he's expecting a flood. So what I'm going to do with these ones are I'm going to make these ones into shorts and redraw my pattern to give the more length and I'll probably add an inch or two onto the bottom. I'd rather they be too much fabric than not enough. Inch or two onto the bottom. <laughs> And then just hem up what I, what I need. And then he'll have pants that actually fit. Huzzah! Harumph. Now I have to go make long pants. Trousers, if you will. They're done. They're done. They are hemmed. They fit their... Well, he hasn't tried them on. I'm guessing <laughs> that they're right. I know they're right. My mother's intuition says they're good. And I'm, I'm really proud of them. I used a stitch that I normally don't use, which is a pain in my butt. It's a stretch stitch, and it does stretch. It's a good stretch stitch. It took me a week. A week. Sewing whenever you have children is hard. <laughs> doing anything when you have children, doing anything when you have life is hard because it just throws stuff at you, but you just got to keep on, keep on keeping on with it and making progress. Every step is progress. Um, my father used to tell, and I think it was a quote from Ben Franklin, if you take care of the little things, the big things will take care of themselves. So if you work every day towards your goal, eventually you're going to meet your goal and sometimes it feels like you're scooping away at a at a mountain with a a spoon but eventually you'll you'll get through i did one thing every day and i made the pants so this proves <laughs> If I do one thing every day on these videos, I will have a video to you every week. <laughs> even, 
even with my kids in everything. So I am forever grateful that you are here with me watching me make pants that take a week to make and everything else that I get done with in my studio. I have a new camera thanks to the help of my husband and I am here because I love you all so very much and I look forward to talking to you and working on a project which will be a giveaway at the Geek and Grub Market April 7th. So next week, tune in for that. If you like the journey, if you got something out of it, uh, like, subscribe, please. I would love that. If there's something you want to see me make or make more of, or if you just want to give some words of encouragement to uh, anybody who is trying to dig through a mountain with a spoon, leave, leave some comments below. I love you all so very much. I love you so very much. And I will see you next week.